Got me out here in L.A. I'm disappointed in church out here in L.A. I'm from the South. In the South, we do church. Y'all feel me? Church a little different out here. Church out here a little Hollywood. I went to this one church, I seen a brother get baptized with a Bluetooth on his ear. Hold on, Bishop. Yeah, I'm back, y'all. We can hit the club a little later on if you want to. Yeah, okay. Bishop, you want to go too? Yeah, make that three on the guest list if you don't mind. You ever go to church and have a prayer request and somebody wind up telling your business in the prayer request? Uh, good morning, saints. If y'all don't mind, um, please keep our sister Nadine lifted up in your prayers. Uh, she don't know who the father of her baby is, and we ask that y'all keep her lifted up in your prayers. If y'all don't mind, please reach out to her. We're going to pray for her right now. Dear Lord, show her how to keep her legs close. Girl, keep your head up. That's why you got pregnant the first time. If you don't mind, keep her in your prayers. Are you, you ever have somebody invite you to church, and they have a guest speaker, and the guest speaker be horrible? And you know they horrible, too, because the person invites you, try to explain, like, look, um, I don't even know who this is. This pastor friend, I don't even know him like that. Sound like he got Robitussin in his sermon. He'd be like, uh, good morning. Uh, hey, man, we, uh, uh, would like to thank all our, uh, First-time visitors, amen. We, uh, what's wrong with your connection? You got dial-up? Uh, have you tried control or delete? A few people with an office job. Okay, cool. What's happening? How you doing? How you living? How you feeling? Good. Good. I was just getting myself together. I was uh, trying to listen to some music, some gospel music. Any gospel music fans? Any gospel music? I like it. I do. I really do. I really do. And the thing I love about it is that it's always evolving. I didn't even know gospel music could evolve like that. Because, you know, they, I like the Kirk Franklins and all that. I like the New Age. But now they try to, you know, really go above and beyond. They try to have this heavy metal gospel. You know, heavy metal gospel. Come on now. I'm just I'm trying to feel the spirit, not fear it. You know, you just, <laughs> I don't want no dude, you know, I'm trying to get into the zone. You be like, are you ready to pray? <laughs> are you freaking ready to pray? Jesus, 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 Jesus. Let us pray. I don't want no white. I don't want a picture of Jesus on a stained glass window. Yeah. Oh, cool that down. Calm that down. I like something cooler. If you want to like do a little crossover, do like reggae gospel. That would be cool. You know, little, you know, Bob Marley like kind of music. You know, dude, come come out with a purple velvet robe. You know, with a little dread. Just be chilling. Are you done? 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 All praises to God. All praises to God. Kick it. Oh, yeah. Oh, lad. Jesus. My sweet Jesus. Oh, he died. Yes, he died. Come now. <coughs> they nailed him. Oh, they nailed him. <laughs> One to the cross. And this is what he said. And this is what he said. You want to know what he said? He said, ow, 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 these nails hurt. Take it away, Apostle. Ow, 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 these nails hurt. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, thank you. I yeah, appreciate it. I'm glad I ain't the only one going to hell. I appreciate that. My mother don't like that joke either. My mother don't like that. She goes, don't do that, don't do that. She's from Haiti. She's like, don't do that, don't do that. No. If you want to go to hell, go by yourself, but not with me. <laughs> no. mm -mm. And she tried to take me to her church. You know, she goes to, I was raised Roman Catholic. And she, she knows I love gospel music, so she tried to, like, lie to me. She's like, oh, they have gospel music at my church now? They, they do. They do. I'm like, my, they're not Roman, in a Roman Catholic church. You ever been to a Roman Catholic church? This is their gospel music. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. <laughs> oh. Amen. 
Then she got the nerve to get mad at me when I was sleeping. Hey, what are you doing? Wake up. I'm like, what? You sleeping? I'm like, my, even Jesus falling asleep. <laughs> I saw, I saw, I thought it was so tight. I thought I saw Jesus get fed. You know what? This is ridiculous. I'm getting about here. <laughs> Y'all better sing something happier than this. This is ridiculous. Let me get on out of here. Peter, turn yourself right side up. Let's get on out of here. Everybody in here believe in God, but there's different people who pray different ways. You know, it's all racist, racist re beliefs. If you're Puerto Rican, you go to a Puerto Rican church. you Mexican, Mexican church. Just makes sense, but you still believe in God. I'm going to show you. I swear to God, it's different. You go into a Spanish church. He don't say nothing at the Bible. He comes right up. I love my Jesus. He is my love. I love my Jesus. He is my love. I love my Jesus. White people, same thing. Got churches. Big churches. But nobody be in the church. And you always hear this sound. I love Jesus. And Jesus loves me. Black people. Oh, my Lord. Black people churches. Black people churches, same thing, but everybody just gets into the church too hard. Black people, as soon as you come into church, you hear, hey, and I want to say to the Lord, I say, I was in Jamaica. I said, before I go on, I'm going to go in the church and go talk. It was a reverend with dreads. <laughs> Soon as I walked in, you want Jesus? <laughs> Soon as he started preaching, for we don't know when the Lord him come, <laughs> but we know him soon come. <laughs> before we go, we want to sing this song to the higher power, Jai Selector. Calm down. May love Jesus. May love Jesus. We say may Jesus is the love of them. May love him. We say may Jesus is the love of them. Love of him. May love Jesus. You had a negative friend and you, hey man, you put your money in church? Yeah, I tithe in church. Why man, the preacher, he spent that money on himself. Well, I look at it like this. If you can prepay for a cell phone, you can prepay to go to heaven. <laughs> That's right, though. You'll be sitting in hell when I limit it nights and weekends. <laughs> so you're going to find out, oh, man, I'm going to call you back. It's out of hell now. Yeah. yeah, let me hit you back Friday. Let me hit you back Friday. It's hot now. Yeah. It's tough doing the right thing, man. All these temptations in the world. I said, the first step of me trying to do the right thing, I said, I'm going to get to know the Lord. And what better way to get to know the Lord than by going out, buying a Bible to read what he did when he was down here. So I went to the Christian bookstore. I picked up me a nice Bible. I got to the counter, and she tell me $75. Y'all just don't know what it took for me not to curse up in there. I'm like, for a Bible? I'm like, for $75, this Bible must come with a miracle. And if so, I need mine to help pay for it. <laughs> she said, I stole one from a hotel. <laughs> Look, he's like, man, that was wrong right there, bro. <laughs> and fellas, I'm going to tell you, man, y'all be careful when you go to church. Because women going to church looking for men that's going to take care of them financially. Uh-huh, y'all go to church and see what kind of shoes we wear, how much money we putting in church, what kind of car we pulling up in. Ladies, that's not the key. If you really want to know the key to a financially stable man, just look at his Bible. <laughs> that's right, because if he come to church with a nice-looking, nice-sized Bible, chances are he's financially stable. But if he walk up in the church with one of these... <laughs> 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 I 
Chances are he's not doing too good right now. Cause he got this one from Vacation Bible School. <laughs> church. White folks go to church at 11 o'clock, 11.30, they out of there. They gonna tell you about the Super Bowl and everything. Not black folks, I'm messing with black folks, I damn near miss the Super Bowl. See, I went to one of them churches where they be running, jumping, turning, flips, throwing, chicken, you know. One of them churches where you go Sunday morning, get out there Wednesday evening. But this is what I like about white folks' church. They organize. You ever seen a white boy quartet? A quartet? I went, I, I visited my, my boy Josh Church. They got a nice quartet, you know. You ain't seen them, them white quartets. Church, get ready to sing. We've got joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart. Hallelujah. Down in my heart. We've got joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. Now that black folk church, we totally different. Our quartets be showing up late because the band then broke down. The lead singer can't really sing, but the reason he the lead singer because it's all his equipment. <laughs> this type of stuff you see at a black church. Go ahead, band. Church. <laughs> and they fall down the steps and start singing a damn song. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> 